guys, it's Eve Stace and Hubby Nick is here. Um, we are doing a slow cooker meatloaf recipe for our son is at Stace. In the bowl right now, he has two large eggs and he's gonna beat them up. Then you're gonna add in the milk, which is three quarter cups. Add in the breadcrumbs, which is two thirds of a cup. And you have your, it calls for minced onions and sage. We're not using that. We're using salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning, which is right here. So you're gonna add that to that mixture. And this is gonna go in the crock pot for five to six hours. It also calls for to have carrots and potatoes on the side. I'm not doing that. I'm gonna have mashed potatoes on the side. So we'll just be putting the meatloaf in the crock pot. And it's on high. I want to get that breadcrumb mixture, so I can zoom you guys in so you can see it. Mixed in really well, then you'll add the meat. The calls are one and a half pounds, we're going to be using two. Crumble it? Yep. It's just, yeah, crumble ground beef or ground meat in the mixture. You can also use ground beef or ground turkey. This is what, a 93% lean, mm -hmm. you said? And we're usually, what, the 80-20? Yeah. With a crock pot that you do want to go lean, otherwise it'll be sitting all that fat while it's cooking. I guess you can use your hands at that point, I need to combine it. You don't want to overmix it, they said. You're just going to mix it lightly until it's all incorporated and then form it into a loaf and pop it in the crock pot. So pretty simple. Is it really wet? A little bit, yeah. Keep me a little moist. So it's great. I don't know you can't use that there because the dogs eat it. Form into a loaf and pop it here. I'm also using a, a um, crock pot liner. Make sure you can see. I'll take them off the tripod so I can hold it. I right, think you got a loaf going. You're not, mm -hmm. make, you're not making a pizza. And also, when it's, it's going to cook on here for five to six hours until it's done, and then you're going to add the um, topping, which is ketchup, brown sugar, mustard. You want to smooth it out a little bit more, honey? Okay, I think you're good. All right, so there's the meatloaf. We're going to pop the lid on it, and we'll see you guys back here in five to six hours. All right, guys, we are back with the meatloaf. It's been in there six hours. I'll be gonna put the sauce on there. And that was a quarter cup of ketchup, two tablespoons of brown sugar, one teaspoon of mustard, and one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. And then turn this on high for 30 minutes and the meatloaf is done. And then we'll taste and let you guys know what we think of it. Good. Nope. Put it all on top. Oh. Yep. You want it going down the sides. You think it shrunk a whole lot? I don't think so, mm -hmm. huh? So you think it's gonna stay like a soft sauce? Or get like caramelized? Nah, I think it was with a crack, but I would think it would stay pretty soft. All right, we'll see you guys in 30 minutes. All right, guys, we are back. It's been a half hour. And hubby was right, the sauce is still wet. I like the sauce on top to be more caramelized, but we will see. We're definitely done. Right, a little bit burnt on the one side. All right, you got to pull and I can't grab it. Okay, 
kind of stuck to the bag. <laughs> it's hot. Okay. Maybe spray the bag first, guys. Cut a little piece off the edge. Looks pretty good, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, taste it, honey. Gotta blow on it. It's piping hot. Like I said, I'd asked for potatoes and carrots. In the in their crock pot, we're not doing it that way. We're gonna have them by itself. What do you think? Hot. Is it good? Mm -hmm. What do you taste? Meatloaf? Meatloaf. Do you think it's missing anything? Other than potatoes? Yeah, there wasn't really a whole lot of spices in it, huh? Mm -hmm. Maybe a little salt and pepper. Yeah. All right, it's guys. It's juicy. So we'll make it again, or is it a one and done? No, I'd make it again. In the crock pot or the oven? Either way, I think it's juicy. So you're saying my normal meat looks not juicy? No. <laughs> yes, he is. Not bad. Good mm -hmm. for a sandwich, right? Mm -hmm. And it didn't shrink up a whole lot, so I recommend using that meat. Yeah, not at all. Otherwise, it would have been like a burger. All right, guys, there you have it. Today's Sunny's with Stace and my hubby. Um, any questions? Let me know.